To grow sugarcane successfully requires a lot of hard work. Cane growers are well aware of the fact that sugarcane demands a high consumption of water and fertilizers to produce effective yields. In Queensland, Australia, there are hundreds of thousands of hectares of sugarcane under irrigation. The timing of the application and the amount of water actually applied to sugarcane both have a highly significant effect on the yield that can be achieved. There is a direct relation between watering and yield. The most common approach to watering sugarcane is through flood irrigation methods. Everyone would agree that this is a very wasteful method of water application. Flood irrigation can only be utilized on level ground and on soils where good drainage exists. It's far from efficient and has low uniformity in actual water use. Water may take anywhere up to 10 hours to work its way from one end of the cane field to the other. In sandy soils, for example, short interval watering is the ideal method and flooding is completely inefficient and wasteful. Good drainage in such soils during the wet season will allow, in many cases, high and good yields if irrigation is carried out properly. The other common method of sugarcane irrigation involves the use of self-propelled gun sprinklers and irrigation machines. This type of overhead irrigation is very often practiced in areas where flood irrigation has proven itself to be unsuitable. The big disadvantage with overhead irrigation is its total dependence on high flow rates and high pressure systems. Weather conditions, windy days in particular, also have a dramatic effect on this form of irrigation by causing low uniformity in the spread of the water. Some areas of the crop will get more than others. A hot day causes further loss through evaporation. So where do we go from here? Both methods have shown themselves to be inadequate for efficient, effective sugarcane irrigation after planting. After harvesting, cane growers are required to remove all plant residue from the surface of the soil to prevent the formation of barriers and subsequent water locking when using flood irrigation, or poor surface infiltration when using overhead systems. Well, now there's a solution to the problems associated with sugarcane irrigation. And the answer comes from the world's largest drip irrigation company, Netafim. Many years' experience in the manufacture and implementation of drip irrigation systems has led Netafim to develop new technology ideal for sugarcane irrigation, the subsurface drip irrigation system. An entirely new range of drippers have been developed to address the problems associated with subsurface drip irrigation. Because it's impossible to view the individual drippers without digging them up, Netafim had to develop a dripper that would provide accurate, efficient, reliable watering while remaining out of sight. The result is the Typhoon Dripper, which features Netafim's patented tooth pattern for accurate flow rates. For the most effective results when using this form of drip irrigation, it's vital that detailed planning of the irrigation system takes place before dripper lines are installed. This will allow for high uniformity in the distribution of water and fertilizers. By keeping the uniformity and quality of the water at a high standard, it's possible to design the cheapest system required for a specific area. Proper water quality will keep the dripper system in good shape for many years. To achieve this quality, we use a disc or gravel filter. Let's look at some important aspects of subsurface drip irrigation systems. Because drip irrigation operates on low pressure at relatively low flow rates, it allows for the use of small pumps. This provides efficient pumping with a low demand on energy. The use of a water meter provides accurate information about the rate of flow and the amount of water in the field. Information provided concerning the hourly flow rate can also alert the grower to blockages or leaks. Because the water pressure is controlled with a pressure reducing valve, constant pressure, which provides uniform flow to the lines and the drippers, is not a problem. While a computer controlled system isn't necessary, when such a system is used, it's possible to provide proportional fertilizing to the dripper lines. The ability to bring fertilizers directly to the root zone of the cane plant, right where they're needed, is one of the greatest advantages to subsurface drip irrigation. Fertigation, as it's become known, enables the grower to add fertilizers at precise intervals, and this has a dramatic effect on crop yields. With drip irrigation, the grower has the ability to respond to the crop's fertilizer requirements as it grows. If the crop is yielding well, 
the grower may add fertilizer at any time during the season. When nitrogen is flushed out below the root zone during rain periods, it remains possible to add fertilizers through the dripper lines when conventional fertilizer application methods would literally get bogged down. Preparation of the field and injection of the equipment is the next step once the system's requirements have been carefully planned. Preparation will require marking the plot. This is followed by the injection of irrigation laterals into the ground. The injector equipment has a decisive effect on the performance of a lateral line. The injector tube, made from seamless stainless steel with no internal nicks or burrs that may damage the lateral, is responsible for guiding the unwinding lateral down and under the soil while ensuring that the dripper is positioned face up. A depth control wheel ensures that the lateral is placed at an even depth for the entire length of the line. This is vital for the dripper line to operate accurately and efficiently. Once the lateral lines have been laid, the next step is to dig trenches for the sub-main and collector pipes. The sub-main and collector are usually made up of PVC piping, which is ideal for drip irrigation purposes, and it's the most cost-effective. Polyethylene may also be used. Once the sub-main and collectors are installed, the laterals need to be connected. This will involve drilling holes into the PVC pipes. A start connector is inserted into the hole. A small section of blank tubing is attached to the start connector, and this is then connected to the lateral dripper line via an adapter. At this stage, the system needs to be flushed to remove any dirt that may have entered the tubing during installation. Water should be gradually introduced to the system while one line is left open. It may be necessary to flush the laterals from both ends if clogging occurs. The trenches can then be covered in. Here is a diagram showing the layout of a subsurface drip irrigation system. First in line is the pump, which is followed by a vacuum breaker air release valve, a pressure relief valve, fertilizer injector, mainline valve, pressure gauge, water filter, pressure regulator, and a second pressure gauge. Water passes through the main line to the sub-main. The sub-main is fitted with a valve either side of the main line and vacuum breaker air release valves. Lateral dripper lines are connected to the subsurface distributor and collector. The collector is also fitted with vacuum breakers and valves. The end result is a truly efficient drip irrigation system that will increase yields while keeping operating costs to a minimum. Yield can be expected to increase by approximately 30% when using drip irrigation. Water is used more efficiently without wastage and drip irrigation uses approximately 30% less water. The physical labor of collecting and moving irrigation equipment is removed and fertilizer usage is optimized through the use of the fertigation system. Another important aspect of the system is the balance that can be maintained in the soil between oxygen, air and water. Drip irrigation, unlike flood irrigation, doesn't push the oxygen and air away from the plant. Again, this saves water and has a direct effect on the yield. A Netafim company representative would be pleased to discuss your individual requirements and provide you with additional information on subsurface drip irrigation systems. Netafim manufactures and supplies a comprehensive range of drip irrigation products for a variety of applications. These systems have proven themselves to be highly successful throughout the world. The Netafim subsurface drip irrigation system, the only solution to sugarcane irrigation.